Yes. I'm Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I will be sharing my journey to lose 180 pounds and I'm also sharing all the ups and downs that come with it. So if that's something that you're interested in or something you feel like you can support and you want to help me be accountable and you want to watch me just soar, then you can click the like and subscribe button. Because I am, I'm gonna soar. If you click this video, you're obviously here because you wanna know how I manage my psoriasis. But I have to be quite honest right now and tell you that it is midnight and my skin barely ever looks this good at this time. And I'm like kind of flipping out. I don't even know what happened, all glory to the Lord, because my skin is usually dried out by now. But we're gonna get into this video. I'm going to be explaining to you what psoriasis is for those of you who don't know. I'm gonna be talking about how I got it, uh, when I got it, and I'm gonna talk about some of the medicines that I have taken along the time that I've had it. I've had it now for almost 15 years um i wasn't born with it and it just popped up out of nowhere like a pleasant surprise not really but um, i'm gonna talk about the things that i do to manage it some give you some tips and i'm gonna talk about a book that has really helped me in my journey in finding out how to cure my skin without medicines naturally so if you're interested in that then please stay tuned tuned there are very different types of psoriasis, which I don't know them all, but I'm just gonna like let them pop up on the screen so you know all the different kinds of psoriasis. So, okay. I was not born with psoriasis. It came about for me at the age of 21 and different things trigger it, but essentially there's one thing that's going on inside of the person's body with psoriasis that could be causing the psoriasis now i don't know about for all the different types of psoriasis but i know for mine in particular which is severe plaque psoriasis typically I, in the past i've had very thick gray silvery scales that would crack and they would bleed and they would itch so just to get into it what psoriasis is just a little bit just to give you some kind of uh back information as to what it is is that basically your skin is like your last line of defense if something's going on with you whatever you're putting in your body it kind of comes out on your skin so like maybe there's some people who eat too many like fatty kind of foods they get like acne and stuff like that but in my case i have something called a leaky gut and what that means is that there's something going on in my gut where it's leaking and because it's leaking the toxins are uh, dripping out into my body and it's causing my body to fight against itself to protect itself and typically a person's skin grows every month and they don't notice it because they're taking showers and they're moisturizing so you know all that stuff is being washed away and moisturized so they don't see their skin growing like that but someone who has psoriasis our skin grows typically every four to seven days so it's growing at a rapid pace and that is why it grows the way it does that is why it looks the way it does so that is psoriasis in a nutshell the crazy thing about it is that for most of my life up until i got psoriasis which i got it when i was 21 i had elite skin and my skin was flawless like i never got acne i never had pimples um, my skin was always really soft, even though I really wasn't taking care of it at all. I wasn't like one of those people who moisturizes every day and stuff like that. So when this started to pop up, I was like, what is going on? At 21, I started getting lesions on my legs and within two months, it grew all over my body. My body was about 85% covered with psoriasis even though i was experiencing all those things i had never been inflamed before so i didn't know what it felt like i didn't know what it was and one night my skin was inflamed so bad that it felt like i was on fire and even just having on my clothes 
hurt me. I went to the emergency room and that was when I was diagnosed with psoriasis. At that point, they didn't really have a lot of information on it. They just knew what to do to alleviate the symptoms and that is basically all they knew. They had no idea where it came from, how it works or how to cure it. So the first thing they did was they put me on topical steroids. They put me on something called Trium Triamcinolazone. Try to say that fast five times. And they put me on something for my scalp called Clobetasol. And they told me that I can use that, but I had to use it sparingly. And I can only use it on the places where I had lesions. The topicals were doing okay for me. They were helping with the itching and they were helping with the dry skin, but it wasn't helping with the inflammation, which was really the painful part. There would be days where I would just like lay in bed and cry because my skin was burning so bad. So they talked to me about putting me on some biochemical, I think that's what it's called, um, injections. And one of the first injections they put me on was something called Humera. It worked. My skin was back to normal within about three months. The problem with Humera though is that it suppresses the immune system. So while I had great skin, I was susceptible to getting sick very fast. And when you get sick, they tell you, don't take the Humira anymore. So one day I got sick, I stopped taking the Humira and my skin just started to grow right back. Like it, like it never stopped. And after that, I got pretty discouraged. And I, at that point I was just kind of depressed. I was just kind of done with the whole thing. It's just like, I don't even wanna, I don't even care anymore. I'm just gonna hide in my house for the rest of my life. I'm just gonna deal with this. I don't have to deal with nobody and I'll be fine. After talking with like my family and they were really like, you know, we don't like to see you sad like this. And um, they encouraged me to go back to the dermatologist. So I did and they put me on Humira again, but this time the Humira didn't work. So then they put me on something called Enbrel. With the Enbrel, they also put me on this pill called methotrexate and they told me that the combination would be very good, that it will work very fast. The side effect of the methotrexate was that if you decide to have a baby, you have to stop taking it because it can kill your baby. And I said, you want me to take a medicine that can kill a baby? and I'm not supposed to be worried about what it's doing to me on the inside. So I took the medicine for like a week and then I stopped. Um, but I was still using the Embril and the Embril, like the Humera, was working and it was working fine. However, my hair started to fall and I don't know if that had anything to do with the Embril, but that did not work for me. So I stopped taking any kind of medicine and I was just like, okay, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to deal with this? I remember that the triamcinolazone was some of the steroids, but mostly petroleum jelly. So I was like, oh, I had like a light bulb. I was like, a thing. So I went and I got Vaseline from the store. Like I don't play when it comes to Vaseline. Like seriously, I don't play when it comes to Vaseline. Vaseline has been the one thing that has helped me with the moisture of my skin. Moisture. When I put it on like after a shower, if my skin is inflamed, it helps the inflammation. And it's the only thing that I use right now. Mentally, this autoimmune disease had me stressed, depressed, and anxious. Before psoriasis, I was out and about, I was hanging out with friends, I was doing a lot of things, but after psoriasis, I was not going anywhere. The only time I really left my house was to go get food. At that point in time, I was raising my sisters and I did not wanna go see their teachers. I did not want their friends to see me because I didn't want their friends to make fun of them because of me. So I was very closed off and mentally it, it did not, um, it did not go well for me. I tried going to therapy, but it was a little hard because I never really had a good fit when it came to therapy. It was hard for me to 
um, be able to kind of sit through it and get along with the therapist. And it's not the therapist's fault, right? There's, I feel like there's a different fit for everybody and I just haven't found mine yet. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it really wasn't easy dealing with this kind of ailment, especially when people treat you very different because of your skin. And also the anxiety that rests, like it like lives with you because when you have psoriasis, you're kind of always flaking. If you don't have it, if you're not managing it very well, which I wasn't after I stopped taking the medicine, when you're not managing it very well, you get very dry, you get very flaky. And I even have some clips here, which I'm gonna play as I talk of, like even though I'm managing it better, I still am very flaky and my bed is full of skin in the morning. And when I sit down anywhere, I, if I'm itchy, I definitely am leaving skin everywhere. Um, I When I hug people, sometimes if I have dry skin on my face, it'll get on their clothes. And it just makes you so anxious that you, instead of you just kind of embracing what's going on, you kind of just want to keep your distance because you just don't want to deal with that kind of embarrassment. So it, it's been very hard. Um, mentally it was very hard for a long time but after having it for so long and coming to terms with what it is and also finding help with it has set me free and like I'm able to do more than I've done before and in the last couple of years I've done um, so many things that I haven't done before I've gotten to go hang out with friends and i've even gotten to like meet some of my favorite singers and stuff and not feel so ashamed because of my skin and it's been it's been great and then 2020 happened and then it was like okay but you know things are getting better now and we're able to do a little more than we were last year so i'm not gonna complain i'm just gonna you know thank god for getting me through 2020. <laughs> reason behind me really wanting to make this a video is because i was thinking about where i was back in 2007 when i started to get the psoriasis and i remember how isolated i felt i remember how i felt like there was no one who understood me if there's anybody who's out there who feels alone who doesn't understand it who feels any negative way about it i wanted to make this place a safe space for them to know that they are not abnormal that they're not alone and that there's a place for them to be free. Before I give you these tips, I just want you to know that I am not a medical professional, so please go visit a dermatologist and speak with them and see what works for you. I'm telling you what has worked for me. So here are a couple of things to stay away from. Number one, perfume. Anything that is scented is not your friend. It will cause your skin to get angry and it will cause your skin to burn. Number two, Dairy and pork is not our friends. Spicy foods, your skin and spicy foods, they're not friends. And lastly, fried foods. Fried foods get you in trouble for a lot of things. And psoriasis will be one of those things that it will um, not be good for. So those are just a couple of things to stay away from if you have psoriasis. And I know for me, when I have stayed away from those things and I added things like greens and um, especially like spinach and uh, I'd like to use, the only lettuce that I really like is spring mix. Um, so when I add those things to my diet, my skin radically changes and it's crazy how much it radically changes. And I can't wait to tell you about the book that I got that helped me understand what psoriasis is and how to manage it and even cure it. So just hold on just a few more minutes. Here are some of the things that really don't affect your skin, will have an effect my skin. So I'm gonna share some of the things that I use 
on my body and on my face and i'm also going to be sharing some things that might help you as well when it comes to bath soaps you must stay away again from anything that is perfumed i love bath and body works so much but i cannot use their shower gel because their shower gel has perfume in it and it just destroys my skin um a great soap to use is something that's unscented so right now i'm using unscented dove soap that soap has been really great and i use it with the wash rag and with the wash rag i've seen a tremendous change in my skin because uh when you wash your body with just the soap and you have psoriasis it ain't it ain't doing nothing you're not doing nothing you're just patting up the skin and you're not you know taking it off so it gets kind of nasty and clammy and you don't want that when it comes to moisturizing your body the best thing to use has been vaseline and last but not least go outside get some sun the sun is your friend in terms of the whole mental aspect of it it's really important that you try not to stress and i know it's easier said than done for me something that has really helped me is letting go of things that i can't control um i am the oldest of four girls and two of them i've raised so it's like i do have kind of like a parental mindset kind of sometimes and i do have that i need to do everything right everything needs to be perfect i need to know what's going on i need you know i have that in my mind in the back of my mind sometimes and sometimes it can be detrimental because i cannot control everything i can't i just i just can't so i had to learn to let go and let god do what he does because what he does is perfect and everlasting and if i keep trying to stick my little nose in it i'm just gonna mess it up but i know it's easier said than done and i know there are things that you know are gonna weigh heavy on your heart sometimes but if you can find something that brings you joy and if you can make it a priority to step into that and do that that really helps as well so here are some of the products that i use to wash my face um about once every two weeks i use a vino skin brightening daily scrub i don't use it all the time because i don't think it's very good for us to exfoliate our faces every day even if it's gentle then my daily face wash is this simple moisturizing soap um this is so good it's very like light on the face and my face feels so nice and clean after I'm done with it. And then what I do is I um, put this lotion on my face. It's from Simple as well. It's called Kind to Simple Kind to Skin. It's a protecting light moisturizer and it has SPF in it. And so I will um, put this on after I take a shower. I like to make sure that my face is not like dripping wet, but kind of like damp so that when my face dries, um, the lotion kind of like seals it in a way. But I also use Vaseline on my face. Before I got psoriasis, like I said, my skin was really good. So I didn't really use lotion. I, I didn't really get ashy like that unless I was like in water for a long time. But now since I've had psoriasis for a long time, um, lotion just isn't the only thing to cut it anymore. So I put on the lotion, but I always put on a little bit of Vaseline afterwards to kind of like seal the deal. And that is basically what I do to manage my skin. So now let's get to the good part. The book is called Healing Psoriasis, The Natural Alternative, a drug-free program that really works. And the author is a doctor named John O.A. Pagano, and I will be putting the link to the book in my description. This book, this book will literally change your life. I'm just going to show you just one little thing here. This is a before and after. This is a before they started doing all the stuff that the doctor says, and this is an after. And I am here to tell you that this book is not a lie. 
my skin could be literally clear right now and I could be living my life like it's golden. However, I like I've said in my last video, which if you haven't saw it, I'm going to place a card here so you can click it and see it. Um, I do have a binging problem. I do have issues when it comes to food, so I'm still working on it. However, I have done what the book says, simply just the food. This book is jam packed with information. This is the book that helped me understand what psoriasis is. I literally started doing the, just the eating, just changing what I was eating. I was limiting my meat. I was eating more greens. I was eating more vegetables, um, a, a lot of spinach, stuff like that. I was putting that in my shakes and my smoothies. And within seven days, my skin was like good within seven days so like it is not a joke that if you follow what this book says it could literally change your life but before i end this video i just wanted to say one quick thing your skin does not define you what defines you is your heart are you kind are you humble are you compassionate are you are you willing to help others you know do you do you find joy in the small things are you grateful like those are the things that define you and and those are the things that will remain when you're not here one day i was very caught up in how people viewed me but it wasn't until i let go of that and that i just was myself again that i felt free this is all temporary right and i know this hearing that and being in the midst of being angry because of your skin or being angry because of the pain or being angry because of maybe how a person is treating you. Maybe you feel insecure because of it. I know in the midst of that, it's hard to hear that and it's hard to even want to believe it. You are created by the creator of all creation. And he does not make mistakes. Please do not feel inferior or less than or disgusting. Do not allow that to hinder you and stop you from moving forward. I let it stop me for so many years. I let my weight and I let my skin stop me and keep me stuck for so many years. And it was the worst decision I ever made. But by the grace of God, I am here today and I am moving forward and you can move forward as well. You are loved by God and you have a purpose. Every day you wake up is a clear indication that he is not done with you yet. Use it as a reason to be able to say in spite of. Use it as a thing that's going to spring you forward into the purpose that God has placed you here on this earth for. And I will be sharing more things having to do with psoriasis on here. Anything I find out, I will be sharing it. I'm also going to be implementing this book into my journey. I'm going to show you smoothies and stuff that I make and I will document what my skin is doing as I'm moving forward. And if you want to move forward with me, you can always, like I said, go down in the link and click it and get the book. I am, it is not an affiliate link because I'm not on that level yet, <laughs> but um, you can definitely get the book. It's not expensive. And until next time, peace.